Eminem presents Annie Gets the Shaft. Yep. Are you seeing Annie? I think she's down here somewhere. I'll give her heads up for you. That was quite a load. You should really be more careful. Mr. Johnson's in for you. He probably needs me to take some dictation. Is everything okay, Mr. Johnson? No, Annie. I'm afraid everything is not okay. What's wrong? Annie, when you first came to Long Johnson Wang and Schlong, you seemed like a real go-getter. I mean, I thought you were really on the ball. So when I asked you to go down to Mr. Schlong and give your oral presentation, I expected you to go down there and perform one hell of a job. But when you got down there, Annie, you blew it. I did the best job I could. Well, according to Mr. Schlong, you really dropped the ball. Well, Mr. Wang needed my help, and he had me tied up for quite a while. Annie, I can appreciate the fact that you were giving Mr. Wang a hand. But if I can be quite honest, I didn't ask you to handle every member in this law firm. I specifically asked you to take care of Mr. Schlong, and you just left Mr. Schlong hanging. Well, if I can be quite honest with you, I think Mr. Schlong is a big weenie. Listen, Annie, I'll be the first one to admit that ever since Mr. Schlong had a stroke, that old stiff has been real hard to work with. But you can't just back out of finishing a job every time you find yourself in a sticky situation. If you find that the job Mr. Schlong wants you to perform is too big for you, or if you can't handle the load, ask someone for help. If you can't reach me, contact Miss Knobsflopper. She always knows how to get a hold of me. I will next time, Mr. Johnson. I'm afraid there's not going to be a next time, Annie. When you first started with this law firm, you had a real hands-on approach. But ever since then, your enthusiasm has seemed to peter out. You were given every opportunity to succeed in this business, but you haven't been able to pull it off. Annie, you're fired. I hope your experience here at Long Johnson Wang and Schlong hasn't left a bad taste in your mouth. I could never get a good grasp on this firm. There are much bigger things out there for me to get my hands on. Miss Knobslobber, send in Leonard. You wanted to see me, Mr. Johnson? Uh, yes, Leonard. The things with Annie really didn't work out. No? I gave her opportunities to work with every member in this law firm, and she blew every one of them. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. That's why I decided to give you a shot, Leonard. Really? That's great, Mr. Johnson! I'm really looking forward to seeing you show us your stuff. That's why I've set you a meeting with Mr. McCracken. Mr. McCracken? That's right, Phil McCracken over at the Fudge Packing Plant. What does he need me to do? Well, I'm sure he'll debrief you when you get there. And once you've seen Phil McCracken's briefs, you'll find he's got a whole load of crap for you. But I can tell you this. What's that? Well, it seems as though somebody has broken into Phil McCracken's office. Are there any suspects? Well, the prime suspect is Mr. Squirt. Mr. Squirt? That's right, Hershey Squirt, the local mobster involved in the illegal fight game. The illegal fight game? That's right, Hershey Squirts has quite a few dirty boxes on the take from him. And now it seems as though he's trying to gather information for some type of schmear campaign by going through Phil McCracken's file castle. Ooh, what makes you think that? Well, well apparently Hershey Squirts left a trail behind in Phil McCracken's drawers. Unbelievable. If you ask me, the whole thing stinks to high heaven. Anyway, we need you to get over there and clean up the whole mess. All right, Mr. Johnson. And Leonard? Yes, Mr. Johnson? Don't be afraid to get a little dirty if you have to. I want you to get into Phil McCracken's drawers and probe around. See what you can find. <laughs> All right, Mr. Johnson. I know Mr. McCracken depends on me. <laughs> That's the spirit, Leonard. All right. <laughs> yes, Miss Knobflower? There's a Mr. McCockener on line two for you, sir. Mr. McCockener? 